if you play singles, I want you to stick around for this entire video because when you're at the net and you're hitting a volley where you feel like you cannot end the point with that volley, maybe you're stretched out, it's low or it's really high, there's a very specific place you want to hit the ball. And if you do this, the chances of winning the point go way up. Now, this video is courtesy of Lost in Tennis on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to his awesome channel. I've put his link in the description below. Now, first, this is Michele. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly, somewhat correctly. And what I'm going to do is just let you play the, or watch this video. I will say that there is uh, Italian being spoken. I don't know what is being said. Maybe in the comments you can tell me what uh, he is saying. But let's watch the point, and then we'll analyze it. sul dritto avrei dovuto attaccare sul rovescio ma non l'ho fatto comunque a portarmi a casa il punto Now, Michele is obviously a very good player. He's the one who owns this channel, Lost in Tennis. And he has great content, great points, great matches you can watch. I love it. So, very important situation in singles. When you come to the net and you are dealing with a volley where you feel like you cannot end the point, it is really important that you avoid hitting cross court because when you hit the ball cross court, especially if you're stretching and your body weight is pulling you away from where you actually hit the ball, it leaves an easy down the line shot for your opponent because you're completely out of position. If you are hitting a really low volley, a really high ball, maybe like a backhand overhead or a high backhand volley, and you feel like you cannot end the point, what you want to do is hit the ball forward on the same side of the court where you're on. And that's what you see right here with Michele. You can see he's got a low volley stretched and look how he keeps the ball in front of him. He does not hit the ball cross court, but rather he hits the ball straight ahead. Or think of it as down the line, like keep it on your side of the court. By doing that, he allows this ball to be closer to him. So let's put a little dot where that ball is, right? And the volleyer, made contact there. So the ball is traveling like this, and the ball is probably going to land somewhere around here. Well, imagine if Michele on this volley had hit cross court, and he had hit like this. Well, now, even if the opponent, and I forget what the opponent's name was, um, but even if the opponent hits the ball to that same circle, you can see how much farther he would have to go to get to that ball. Remember, the contact was played right there. That's where the ball was played because the ball was traveling there. If the ball was doing this, he would have to have gone all the way over here to get to that ball, and he probably would not have, and the ball would have gone past him. This is such a common mistake in singles with recreational players. Even pros make this mistake. What am I saying? Just recreational players. Even pros make this mistake. They'll have a low volley and they will be in so much trouble that they cannot end the point. They're just trying to keep the point going and they'll hit the ball cross court. Their weight's going this way. The opponent gets the ball and easily passes them down the line. So great job by Michele to keep the ball in front of him, to give himself a chance. And it looks like his shot ooh, landed right on the line. And that was an honest call from the opponent. Nice point. Now, if you'd love to use the same strategies the pros use to win their matches, then you got to pick up the Singles Playbook by Fuzzy Yellow Balls. It's all broken down by the type of opponent you play against, and it's over 50 pages, strategy after strategy, and what's really cool is each page comes with a QR code, so you can watch a video of exactly how to use each strategy. Just use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment. And if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two-minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. This is the situation right here. When you're at the net and you cannot end the point, keep the ball in front of you. And it was uh, Stefano, uh, or Stefano, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but that's what allows... Michele to have a chance at that ball. So beautifully played point. Absolutely love it. Love that he kept the ball in front of you. You work on this idea, there is no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.